What up party people, Strobe Kantarin here, and after about two and a half weeks, the Grand Balance patch is finally here. Now, unfortunately for me, the video I was working on with my predictions didn't get finished in time before the patch came out. But I'll still let you know how wrong I was when we go over the patches. So, what did we end up getting? Right off the bat, there is a currently a 50% winter sale that is going on. So if you don't have the game yet, it's a great time to get it. If you have friends that play on the PC and the PlayStation version and you have the other side, and you have the disposable income to have two versions of the game, this is the only way currently that you'll be able to play with people on both platforms as there was no announcement of any crossplay. Though I wouldn't roll that out, as Guilty Gear Strive's December 15th update implemented crossplay, so there's always hope. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! The Grand Balance patch is available now, and man, what a patch it is. I'll likely have to make another video covering everything that is included in this patch, but we will cover the core system changes that apply to the entire cast in this video. The Nintendo Switch port, which we were told about previously, now has a confirmed release date of April 20th. So now, you and your friends can play DNF Duel together and eat your favorite snacks and munchies on the Switch when the game debuts on the Nintendo. Abba Zabba. You my only friend. We also got to see more of the victory animation for Spectre, which displays more of her design and possibly another usable weapon other than her longsword. Additionally, we got the confirmation of a season pass, which shows that there will be four more additional characters added to the game for a total of five, and that's actually one more than I thought would come to the game in my original predictions, so that is fantastic. Let's do some theory crafting on how Spectre might play. If you're able to catch my past video entitled DNF Duel DLC Wishlist, which is linked in the description below, I stated that I thought Spectre would have a high chance of being added to the roster. Also, with the addition of Spectre, this now adds a female Slayer class to the game. If we look at her DFO Neo Spectre play video, we see that Spectre is a very up close and personal type of fighter. She doesn't display many moves that are ranged projectile attacks, but she does move fairly quickly and her weapon does have some decent range to it. I'm probably getting a little ahead of myself, but looking at this portion of her winning animation, Spectre looks like she can use this magical tether which is attached to her smaller blade. Doing some research and watching some DFO gameplays of her, the best way to explain how she actually uses this in game is she either did a very quick spider swing attack, or she used it to bind up her opponents as she then slashed through them. So I don't foresee her having a ranged attack using that. Though she does use one attack that is similar to Dante's Drive from Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where she does a slash attack and an energy wave comes out. This is similar to Berserker's projectile attack, with the exception I imagine Spectre's would be one fluid motion. I predict that her fight style would have long quick slashes and some multiple hitting special moves, much like Hitman and Ghost Blade. But until we find out more, right now, this is just my guess. We also see that she does sport her first awakening outfit, staying in line with the rest of the cast designs. Next, let's cover the system updates to the game. To recap, there are buffs for more than 100 skills, and as the devs stated in their future update announcement video on the 25th of September, no character was nerfed in this update. As I expected, Characters that are considered stronger generally got less buffs than those who seem to struggle a bit more in the game. Every character got an increase of 150 to their guard gauge universally, and all characters got an increase in health, but it varied, with Hitman receiving the smallest increase of 20 and Vanguard getting the biggest bump of 100. The majority of the cast received an increase of health anywhere between 30 to 50 points. All characters receive the buff to their awakening mode, with the exception of Hitman. Ow! I was a bit off as I thought that all characters would receive an active skills ability during awakening. But, it seems that more passive skills were added to the majority of the cast, 
with only a few characters receiving extra actions that they can do while in Awakening mode. And finally, with the defense system upgrades. In regard to the dodge mechanic, I was right on the money as both my predictions came true. The game reduced the recovery of dodge, and it increased the window in which the character is invulnerable, as the window now starts on frame 1, which is as soon as the move is performed. For guard cancel, I was completely wrong on this one, as the change is now, the recovery on oneself and the stun of an opponent is to be reduced on hit and guard frame gaps, meaning the recovery is quicker after performing a guard cancel. My prediction was that the user might get a bonus of MP or guard gain back if they successfully hit the opponent with a guard cancel. I am glad though that they did not allow for the guard cancel to convert defense into offense by allowing for it to be a combo starter. And that'll do it for this video. There's still a lot of material left to cover as we haven't even got to the individual buffs for each character. It appears that as of now, that Dean of Duel is alive and well. So if you do enjoy the game, please continue to support it, and we might even be able to see a Season 2 pass. Did your character get enough buffs in this patch? Do you think that some got too many? Provide your comments below and let your voice be heard. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe as every view helps the channel to grow. Enjoy your new additions to DNF Duel, and I'll catch you donkeys next time.